ha ha, there's again tonight, having fun again. Tonight I just wanted to test um, my new LSD44 and uh, I know I've been testing my LSD60 which was the 60 millimeter version, this one is 44. So a little smaller and I wanna see how much flow we can get with using the same test as we did previously with the, the 60 millimeter version which means we're gonna use a one millimeter CHT nozzle. We're gonna do 0 0.5 layer height, one millimeter layer width, and we're gonna start the test at 100 millimeters per second and slowly increase the speed until um, we can get any good print quality. So that's not gonna be anything scientific, not gonna be any um, super crazy test with sensors and stuff like that. We're just gonna start to print and see how much we can get out of this in terms of print quality when, when it starts to degrade at one millimeter nozzle. So that's just gonna be my simple test for tonight. We're using PETG, Polymaker uh, PETG. So it's a different brand than the test I've done with uh, the 60 millimeter version, but should still be a, a good test. And um, we are going to uh, just check extrusion width. I think, yeah, I'm at 95. So let's just crank that to 100%. So that makes math a little easier. And we are also recording the screen on the laptop. So that way we can use main cell calculation as well. We should be very similar to what we calculate with math because we're using very round numbers for layer height and nozzle. So um, just to be fair on the same settings, we're gonna increase temperature to 270 Celsius. That's pool recommend a maximum of uh, 260, if I'm not mistaken. Um, where is it? Uh, um, yeah, 230 to 240, so 230 to 240, we're gonna be a little higher because we want the extra flow. So let's just uh, start by increasing 10% increments. So that's gonna be 110, which should bring us to 55 cubic millimeter. And we're also filming on the DSLR, so we're gonna switch between cameras and we are reporting 55 cubic millimeters. And we're gonna see how that prints. If my LCD will not crap on me. <laughs> I'm having a little issue with that LCD. Uh, I broke the connector in the back, so hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna work. I'm waiting for a replacement. Yeah, please, come on. All right. So that, that's still printing very good. Super good layers. So let's give it another 10%. So 140, which should be 70 uh, cubic millimeters per second. That is still very good layers. Very, very good layers. So give it another 10%. Uh, I said 10%. 150. So 75 cubic millimeters per second. And that is still very good. Very, very good. Then let's do 160. We're gonna try to follow. Yeah, I don't know. That slicer put a, a travel <laughs> Somewhere there, I don't know, it's a bug in the slicer I get, I bet. But anyway, um, still printing very good. Let's crank it up to 170. 
My goal here is to reach 100 cubic millimeters per second. If I reach 100, I'll be happy. So we are close. Um, still very good layers. No under extrusion. Qualities of that extrusion is very good. Unzoom, let's give it another 10%, 180. So that is 90 cubic millimeters per second. Try to zoom in. <laughs> that is still pushing. Um, yeah, no under extrusion. Oh, another 10 and we reached that 100. Let's do that. No, sorry. We're close though. At 200%, we reach 100. 200%. So that's 190. And I really like what I see. <laughs> it's it's pushing it's pushing plastics yeah yeah that's good that is good it is reaching so let's go 100 cubic millimeter come on LSD you can do this and uh, and I can tell you that it is doing it <laughs> there you go. No under extrusion. Trying to get a better angle at this. That's a hundred. Very happy with that. Um, hundred millimeters, hundred cubic millimeters per second. And that duty on uh, duty, I mean the state here. That means we are okay on power. Yes. Okay, so where is the limit? We're gonna find out. Let's give it another 10%. So that's 105 cubic millimeters per second. <laughs> it's, it's going, I can't. I can't say it's doing bad quality right now, it's still printing very good. Yes! Oh yes. Alright, let's give it another 10. So that's 110 cubic millimeters per second. And thank you, CHT Nozzle Bontech, for, for their awesome nozzle. And it's still, it's still going. Yes. Oh, first, first drop or something bad there. Could it be just something, it's PTG, so it might have been something stuck on the nozzle. So let's wait a bit. Yeah, I think that's what it was. <laughs> let's crank it up again. 230, so that's 115 cubic millimeters per second. And boy, that limit is close. It's still going. Though now you can start to see 
that's probably the limit. Is it... Is it the extruder that is... Limiting? I'm not too sure. That could be it. Let me just uh, try to see if I can give it a bit more tension while it runs. Alright. Well, yeah, you could see that. It's, it's limit. But it's still pushing good. But I would, yeah, that's definitely the limit. <laughs> but, let's, let's call it 220. So 110, 110 cubic millimeters per second with that PETG and that LSD44. And the good thing about it is that I have some adapters that you can fit under that will lengthen uh, the LSD by about 15 millimeters. And with that, it's probably the same performance as the LSD60. But just, just like that, I think <laughs> it's enough performance to, uh, to print crazy fast, print crazy stuff. And I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm really happy. So that was the test that I wanted to do tonight. And uh, yeah, that was it, 110 cubic millimeters per second. It's not super scientific test, but it's at least a test to compare um, with what I had with the LSD. Well, light quality sucks here. Let me just go here. Can we see anything good? So all the way layers were good except on a couple last one when we hit um, 115. But 110 cubic millimeters, no issue. Printed good. That's it, folks. I'm happy. I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. We're going to keep pushing that thing all the way up to its limit and see what, what we can get out of it. All right. Thanks for watching again. Thanks. Good night.